we're having an open house today. It's called the Celebration of the Roses, and it's um, an opportunity for people to come into WIC free of charge to just check out what's here. Um, we especially welcome people who haven't been to WIC before. Um, we have our rose garden in full bloom at the moment, and it, it, it's in bloom for just a short time each year because uh, it's filled with heritage roses, which do not last as long as modern roses, but their colors are brighter and their fragrances are more potent. So we invite people to come in, and we're also doing a community blooms initiative where we are inviting people uh, in the Germantown Mount Airy community to suggest places, to nominate places on this form where they think we should plant a Wick Heritage Rose um, for the public to enjoy. So we want it to be a sort of public place or an institution in the area, not a, not a private house. Um, but we're welcoming nominations and um, in the beginning of July we'll be doing the plantings. So people can also, if they're not able to come out tonight, people can contact us at WIC and tell us their nomination. This is Nigella um, Love in a Mist, which is a really pretty annual, it's a self-seeder, so it flowers around, it's just beginning to, or maybe in a week it'll flower, and then it has these really funky seed heads, and if you're a cook, you know that the seeds inside are nigella, which are like the little black seeds that are used in, I think of it as Afghani cooking, but I don't string know. String cheese. Yeah, like string cheese. This clematis is um, it's a really vigorous one, so we have it on a teepee near the roses, but not growing on a rose. This is galore. The Honey Festival is wonderful. There are lots of people who make mead, which is which I would like to make. And you can taste everything they've made during the year. And there are all kinds of other things happening too. It's great. Come. <laughs> Mom, Mom, you gotta smell this one. See, I'm smelling things anyway. <laughs> Mom, you have to smell this all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like the old roses. Hmm. Nothing. That's a nice one. But we have this rose in our garden, this white one, and I want to know the name of it. That one's, oh, goodness. That one's probably the most fragrant so far. Isn't this beautiful? Hmm. I couldn't smell this one in your garden because I couldn't reach any of the bloom. This one is subtle. Th this one is very subtle. Mm. Which one do you think is the most fragrant? Mm. Oh, that's different. It's very that's, subtle. That's, um, I don't know anything about like high notes or low notes. That's Eva, but like, it's like herby almost. Yeah. It's different. It's yeah. less, less sweet and more, um, more herby. The beautiful rose. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Which one did you think was the most fragrant? That, that's the first one with the small... There's the bird. Oh, I think Rosa Gallica. Oh. So stay off my... Stay He'll be back. Pick a color for your stem. Black? And then you're just gonna wrap it around the face, right? <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. And there you go. Got a rose. All right, ready? What'd you say, light or dark orange? That one? Okay, honey. So the roses are all once blooming, uh, except for the hybrid perpetuals, which are the ones in the center. They will uh, bloom again about twice to three times. Um, I'm going to cut them all back and I'm going to hope for rain so that they reflush during the year. And that will be new wood. And then next year, that is the old wood that will flower. So we'll have even more flowers. Thank you so much.